What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? That was a good clap. Today we are going to talk about blood loss. I have never died from blood loss, but something tells me it sucks and I don't want to die at all from blood loss. So you're more likely to die from some sort of accident than you are from uh, getting shot. But either way, I'm thinking bleeding to death would absolutely suck. So we are going to discuss Live the Creed EDC Pocket Trauma Kit. Now, outside of the outside material is very, very nice. It seems like it's a 500D Kodura. I don't know what, what it is, but it has that, that feeling of a thick, heavy duty material that I think is going to last for a very long time. Back of it has some laser cut molly. So if you want to put this on a bag or anything else that has molly, you have the ability to do so. If you look at the stitching here, it is reinforced stitching. You got some box stitching. Again, I think it's gonna hold up for a very long time because the stitching appears to be very nice. Now, opening this up has a very large opening, uh, which is good because if you're ever trying to get your med gear quickly and you're under stress, sometimes those fine motor skills can be tough. So it has a very, very big handle to open it. Has some nice Velcro on there. And then inside, it comes with a couple different things. On one side is going to be a SWAT tourniquet. Now, um, I do prefer a cat tourniquet, but I carry a SWAT tourniquet every single day. I've never found a good way as a civilian to carry a cat tourniquet. Now, if I was in the military, if I was a police officer, different story, I would be carrying a cat. But as a civilian, it's so easy to throw a SWAT in your back pocket. And there are some advantages to a SWAT tourniquet as well. If you are really good with them, you could cut them in half. And please don't do this unless it's an absolute emergency. You know, when I saw the Boston Marathon bombing, that kind of crossed my mind. Like all these people have major wounds, major bleeding. I would snip this bad boy in half and tourniquet up two people, but you really gotta know what you're doing to, to do something like that. You can also use it as a splint of some sort. So if you hurt your arm and, and you need to splint it up like that, SWAT tourniquet can be used for that. And then for very, very small limbs, like both my kids are <laughs> super skinny, my dogs, if um, a cat tourniquet can be tough or impossible to get on kiddos, so a SWAT tourniquet does have some advantages, especially if you are a civilian. On the other side of the bag, you get some quick clot. If you don't know what quick clot is, it's exactly what it sounds like. It helps you clot up a wound, clot up some blood, stop some blood. So if someone has a gunshot or a cut or a laceration, whatever, you gotta jam the quick clot in there. It's gross. But that's what you're gonna do to slow the bleed, to stop the bleed. Blood loss, uh, death from blood loss or passing out can happen very, very quick. We're talking seconds, time is of the essence. Comes in a pair of gloves as well, which is good. Um, if it's my kids, my wife, I don't care about the glove. I'm just going hands on as quick as I could. But if it's some stranger, I don't want their blood all over me. I'm gonna take the 10 seconds and put a pair of gloves on because I don't want some stranger's blood all over me. Uh, on the side uh, that has the SWAT tourniquet, it also has a boo-boo kit as well. You get some band-aids, well, some generic brand band-aids. You have some wound closure strips, iodine wipes, alcohol wipes, back citration, back citration, back, whatever it's called, ointment. And, uh, and that all comes with it. But in this little bag, you can change it out and customize it, whatever you want to put in there. Now, this uh, little bag can also fit one of those small... What are they called? Uh, compact chest seals. I forgot who makes them. I apologize. I'll try to put it up here on the screen. You gotta have some skills for a chest seal. You kinda gotta know what you're doing a little bit. Not hard, but uh, you can fit one of those compact chest seals in here if you want. All right, dimensions. Five and a half by three and a half by one and a quarter. So it is a very small kit. It only weighs half of a pound. It is around $80 and it's made in the US. I love it. That's part of the reason I decided to review this little kit. I thought it was cool, thought it was compact, it has everything you need, nothing you don't, but most important, it is made here in the US and yay, yay, yay for that. Testing. I don't have much to talk about here. Uh, I've had this for a few months. I put it in my back pocket most days. Uh, I took some of the stuff out like the boo-boo kit just to make it a little bit more flat to fit in my back pocket a little bit better. I also put it in my backpack. Uh, that I carry around every single day. I put this in one of my sling bags when I went on a trip, tucked it right in the sling bag. I flew to, where did I fly? Where did I fly? I just went to, oh, South Carolina. I went to the Palmetto State Armory Gathering and I had it in my sling bag and went on a little flight and it was good to go. But the more important part of testing is training. 
all this cool guy med kit is great, but just like a firearm, if you don't know how to use it to be prepared, to protect yourself, to save someone's life, you could have the best whiz-bang med gear in the world if you don't know how to use it. It's kind of pointless. So I highly recommend you take some sort of stop the bleed class, trauma class, bullets and band-aids, bandages, whatever. There's a million different ones out there. Not only do you need to know how to use a firearm proficiently, you need to know how to use medical gear proficiently. So my best friend was a trauma room nurse. He is TCCC certified and stop the bleed and all these different uh, things. I don't remember what they're called, but I'm his tourniquet dummy. I used to go to all these classes he used to teach all the time and he would use me as his tourniquet dummy. And I've had hundreds and hundreds of tourniquets on me and they hurt, but again, blood loss. <laughs> sucks it's better than dying so years ago they used to teach you like an inch or two above the wound is where you put the tourniquet that's changed they want it high and tight on the arm or on the leg or whatever and it's got to be really tight like if you're putting this on a kiddo you gotta tell them this is gonna hurt it's gonna suck but again it's better than dying so go get some training actually real quick we used to play a game with my kids and i've been slacking i haven't done this in a long time i'm gonna go do it right now when this video is over i'd go in the room and i'd throw a cat tourniquet on them and i'd lay on the ground and pretend i'm bleeding to death and they had to find the wound and i would tell them but they had to find the wound they have to put that cat tourniquet on me tighten it down really tight if they didn't tighten it down tight i'd be like i'm still bleeding tighten it down really really tight seal it up pretend to call 911. And uh, we, we, we kept it lighthearted and fun. We didn't make it scary at all, but God forbid they're home alone and there's an accident or a cut. I, just, I wanted to make sure they knew how to put a tourniquet on, or even in school. I don't know how many teachers know how to put a tourniquet on and uh, dying from blood loss would absolutely suck. All right, pros. It's small, it's compact. I think it's gonna be very durable. I've only had it for a few months, but between the stitching and the material, I think it's gonna hold up extremely well. It's a good minimalist kit. It has everything you need in there, nothing you don't. Perfect for if you want a simple, basic EDC minimalist kit. Absolutely perfect of what you need and what you don't need. I don't have any cons. I think it's good to go. If I was going to design something like this, there's not much I would change. I did take some of the stuff out of here when I was putting it in my back pocket. I think I took the boo-boo kit out when I was carrying it just to make it a little bit more flat to fit in my back pocket a little bit better, but that is it. Um, what else do I have? Thanks, I need to say thank you. Uh, Live the Creed did send this to the channel for review. So let me thank you, thank them for that. Very, very nice of them. And I will absolutely use this going forward. If you ever see me traveling, no doubt, probably in my back pocket most days as well. Uh, I don't think I can put any affiliate links down in the video description. You could check. I don't think Live the Creed is on any of my affiliate pages, but if they are, I'll put a link down there. Hopefully I can find you a good deal. If not, I'm sorry, it's still worth it for 80 bucks in my opinion. Swag, we have the nicest, softest, coolest, best fitting swag in the game. It's made by TriStar Trading Company. We have shirts, we have patches. You will look so damn cool. You put this on, it's tight where it should be, it's loose where it should be, it's soft. I'm telling you, the nicest t-shirts in the game. The link is down in the video description. If you wanna support me, that's the best way to do so. If not, it's okay. I still love you. Let's get the Santa up on the screen. Please like, comment, subscribe, enable the bell notification. That stuff's free. It's easy, helps me out. I appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.